Hello, I'm Average Joe. Welcome back to the world. Today we're back with the villagers in this area, and we're not going to be working on the manor, which I completely forgot is what I called it last time. Uh, speaking of last time, we managed to get four villagers into here. One of them has stopped hanging out in the doorway for some reason. I don't know why. Because all the other ones do it, and I can't push them back. Like, also I keep hearing a skeleton, and I don't know where that is, so that's annoying. But yeah, we're not going to be working with any of that today. Today, we are going to be working with the actual breeder itself. Now see, every time I go to add food to the system, I gotta climb all the way up and throw things in there and then climb all the way back down. And this isn't even really, you know, a, a complete bridge here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little item elevator and there's going to be a stream to throw any food we put in there onto the villagers and hopefully it turns out I guess. So this isn't going to be a really complicated thing, it's just going to be an item elevator and I've built those before on camera. Uh, I think. It was a while ago though, so. So first thing we gotta do is cut out all the stairs and stuff, because I want to build the elevator on this side, mostly because getting the villagers out is on this side. Speaking of which, I really should put the rail back there at some point. Oh well. Anyways, I have everything we're going to need for this in this chest here. So, yeah, where did I put the crafting table? Always in the last place you left it. Right, so, first things first, we're going to need a comparator, we're going to need a bunch of repeaters, um, not sure what else we're going to need, actually. I do know we're going to need observers. And dispensers. So probably start out with just a little bit of everything. Uh, gonna want uh, 79. I think that's how tall it is. And I'm gonna have to go get some more cobblestone at some point. That's fine though. That's fine. So, droppers will be here, which means system is going to be here. Oh, what do you know? Just the right amount. And how do I get down? Okay, so the first part is in there. This will spit the items up to about this one, one above it, the one above it. So now we just need to send the signal all the way up to the top, and that's what I need more cobblestone for. Okay, so I'm going to need one, two, three, four observers. And, yep, one, two, three, four. Uh, then that means I'm also going to need four repeaters, which means three more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And redstone and wool. So the wool goes here, and one more that I can't quite reach. All right. Repeater, and uh, throw away block dirt. I have dirt. Observer faces down, 
sends the signal that way and repeats that all the way up to the top so now if we put some whoop, sorry now if we put something in the bottom it should go all the way to the top and spit itself out so let's say nine spruce stairs and there you go nine spruce stairs so the next part is taking what's in what gets sent up and throwing it into the villager containment area thing uh, take some of these this part will be fairly easy all right now anything that's sent up should be spat out directly onto the villagers I'm going to get something I don't mind throwing away and send it in there and see if they pick it up. Alright, so we got a lot of carrots and a lot of potatoes and supposedly throwing these into the top will Throwing these into the elevator will make them all go to the top. Um, there's really no way of checking that, is there? Hold on, I got an idea. Okay. So right now they're throwing things around. Let's just throw the carrots and the potatoes down. Okay, um, I see the problem here. But they are getting fed to the villagers, so that's a plus. Uh, they're getting stuck on top though. I think there's an easy fix for that though. Uh, out of dirt, let's just use stairs. Uh, I'm picking everything up. Awesome. Whoops. Alright, so that's an easy way to feed the villagers. Certainly seems to take a while because we're feeding them one at a time. Oh, it's done. It's done. And that's that, I guess. Now I have no way of knowing if they're breeding or being willing to breed or not. I think this works though. They are throwing things around. Um, I don't know. I'm a bit dubious here. Because those guys haven't been breeding for a while, and I have a feeling it has something to do with the trap door I put in there. I should see if I can't get that trap door taken out. Yeah. And you know what? That's going to be my next project. And I can do that right now. OK, 
Okay, let me see here. Should just be able to... There we go. Oh, bugger. Uh, now I need something to put there. Cobblestone for now. I'll fix that in a little bit. Well, I have no idea if it was the food we put in or the trap door we took out, but there's a new baby villager in there. So this appears to be working again. Kind of. I'd say yeah, it's, it's working again. No one's breeding in here. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, so now this is done, what next? Well, this is essentially not really fitting in with the whole manor thing we got going on over there. Granted, that doesn't really have the whole manor thing going on itself, uh, but it's not a giant piece of obvious game mechanic, uh, what's the word? Well, I guess that works fine. It's not just an obvious giant game mechanic thing. So, this is going to need to get a facade on it. And I was thinking... Maybe a train station, because this is essentially where new villagers are going to be coming in from. We can have the rails be like villagers coming in, and there be a rail to send villagers out, and maybe that's how we get rid of villagers we don't like. Maybe, I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, but before we do that, we should probably finish up the projects we have going on in the main section of the base here. Like finishing the wizard's tower, finishing the facade around the pit, and then we can get back to this. I have projects in here that are not completed that I need to complete, so I'm going to complete them. Starting with the wizard tower. So the tower is coming along pretty well. Uh, I just built a little protrusion there, and it's actually a really nice uh, vantage point. Am I going up the right side? No, I'm not. It's a really nice vantage point to see all the other builds. Uh, to be honest, there's not a lot of high up places you can see the base from, and this is one. And everything looks really nice from up here. I do like it. I think there's a little more that can be done over that way, but that's for another time, obviously. And that area could use a bit of uh, maybe some decoration, terraforming, and that. Uh, but yeah, before I go much further with this build, um, I think it might be best to build some stairs because having to climb up the dirt all the time is dangerous, not to mention tedious. So I'm going to uh, start putting together a staircase. I don't know how well this is going to work or even if it will work. Uh, but I'm hopeful. Right, so I raised the height of the middle pillar thing by about three blocks, and I put some cobblestone stairs on to be support for the top floor. I think I'm going to put in a couple slabs just to be sure it looks okay, and I'm going to put one or two more supports on the corners there. 
after that, uh, the top is going to be put in. It's also going to be circular like the rest of it. And yeah, this isn't the most extravagant wizard tower. In fact, it's... Well, yeah, it's not the most extravagant, but I kind of like it. Probably because I'm the one that built it, but, you know, details. Look at that view. You can see everything except what's below you. And in the mountains, but I don't count that. I wonder. Just for the heck of things. Uh, video settings. I try not to go to the higher render distance just because my computer needs cleaning and all that. What can we see from here? Game's le game is chugging. A lot more than it was before. Oh yes, this is a nice view. Look, you can even see the desert where I get all the sand for glass from. Man, I like this. It's hard on my computer though, so I'm going to turn it down like right now. Uh, back to the fog. Wait a minute. I think my render distance was up just a little bit higher than this. Better. Better. Anyways, I think that is all the time I have for today. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. Um, yeah, Wizard Tower is coming along. Manor, not so much. The real bottleneck right now is the spruce wood, which we can cut down from those trees. I just actually need to find the time to go and do that. See, I've been playing some other games lately and not putting as much time on this, so... Yeah, yeah. You do get a lot from those trees, those like two stacks each time, or one and a half stacks, somewhere between there. And yeah. I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Don't be like me and not get enough sleep.